This is a USB rechargeable bottle top light and the idea is that if you've got an empty bottle, I suppose you could use a full bottle if you wanted, but you turn it on um, and you place it in the top of the bottle like a cork and it illuminates the bottle um, for decorative purposes. Probably better with a patterned empty bottle for that. It's also quite a cold white LED so it might not work with uh, some colours, particularly the warmer colours like brown, so probably patterned clear glass. And this is very rem reminiscent of the these torches here, these uh, USB rechargeable flashlights that um, have that smooth rotating action and also when you pull that back off it all comes out because I've taken that one to bits earlier. Uh, what was supposed to happen there was I was supposed to pull it back off and there's the USB connector. Yeah, these ones, if you recall, were a bit shit because they didn't have proper charging circuitry and potentially overcharged the cells. So they're, they're rubbish. Hopefully this is better. And I think it is better because when you plug it in, um, I don't know if you'll see that. Yeah, a red LED glows inside and after a while that red LED goes out, suggesting that there is some sort of charging protection. So um, let's uh, take a look inside, shall we? If I'd really planned this out, I would have uh, got things to break this open with because I don't think it's going to open that easily. Uh, where's my vice? Let's just squeeze that and see if there's any plastic seal to break. If it's anything like the USB key fob torches then or flashlights, then it'll be quite hard to open because the they seem to have been glued quite well at the end, and I may have to use violence, but that's alright, because these are cheap, and if I like it, I can buy another. Mm, not getting on very well there. Right, I think this is going to require violence. One day I will impale myself for your entertainment. When I've done this, it'll suddenly turn out it's dead easy to get out. But that's all right. All in the name of science. Is that any... Nope, it's still not quite liberating its internal goodies. I don't see any glue in it. Screwdriver. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. If I'd made a bit more effort, I would have been able to pull that out. So for reference, it's held in by these uh, four push pins, and then this should hopefully just slide out. Yes, it does. It's got the same arrangement as the, uh, the key fob type lights in the sense it's got a small slide switch down here. But what's different is the fact that there are one, two, three small six-pin chips and then this lithium cell. And they are almost certainly lithium charge protectors. I guess the LED is probably down there as well. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Yep, there's the LED. Uh, right, I'm going to just take a wee look at this and see if I can actually read some of these numbers in this. Eight two oh five DW O one. Oh, I'm recognizing all these numbers. And one that just says seventeen. I'm not sure what that one is. Could it be a uh, if it's not uh, associated with the battery protection, it may actually be something to control the current through the LED. I'm not hundred percent sure. So it looks as though it's probably got protection uh, against overcharge and over discharge, possibly. That's nice. That makes a refreshing change. Actually, that's quite nice. And now that I know how to open them non-destructively, if I can actually get something to grip that, to pull that out, then uh, it makes it viable. Oh, hold on, let's see if the tip comes off. Oh, the tip does come off. So maybe the option there is to use something to gingerly push through the back. 
there's not a lot of space. But if you had something thin, like maybe um, oh, a toothpick or something, I was going to say an Allen key, but that would be a wee bit too conductive. Um, but theoretically, you could just push, use that. If you popped off the front, you could use that to push out the back. And then you can change this LED to a colour of your choice, because those are the two LED connections there, and then the LED's just folded, put through from this side and folded. So let's uh, pop the cell off and just take a look. He said, mutilating lithium cell. Well, I have been mutilating lithium cell. Yeah, it's just hot melt glue in that side holding that cell in place. Yep. Oh, that's there. I did actually maybe use a bit of excessive force in that, but not to worry. But yeah, that's quite neat. That's uh, quite neat indeed. I I'll leave a link to this um, where I bought it on eBay in the description below. But that's quite nice, actually. I quite like that. 